Hey everyone, I'm going to do a um, my everyday makeup routine for you. Um, a couple of people asked me to do that after I did my hair thing yesterday, so I figured I was getting ready. So I just do my hair real quick and, and leave my makeup off and just film this for you so you can see. Um, so it is a makeup um, thing. <laughs> I'll be doing my makeup and you can ask me any questions about what I use, where I get it, that kind of thing. Um, now this is like full face, okay? And when I do my makeup full face, it might seem like a lot of products to some people. To some people it might seem kind of the norm. Um, you know, you obviously don't have to use what I use. Um, but this is what I use. Um, I start off with a primer. I always start off with a primer. Um, after I get out of the shower and my face is all nice and clean, um, I will put a primer on. I have used a whole bunch of different ones. Right now, I had put the Pore Professional by um, Benefit all over. Um, I have, Rock, Rock has one that's called Instant Line Corrector. That's pretty good too. With me, with finding a primer, I like to find a good one that's not going to make my skin um, shiny later on because I do have very oily skin. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Ashley. So, I do that all over. I already did that. And then I do this. This is um, Elizabeth Mott's Thank Me Later. And this is an eyeshadow primer, which is key. I have to have one of these or you get like that crease in here from your eyeshadow after a while. You know what I'm talking about? It just looks nasty. Hey, Donna. Hey, Marsha. So, I try to keep that from happening and this thank me later eyeshadow primer is amazing Amazon um, Elizabeth Mott then I've just switched over foundations and I have been using liquid foundations um, powder foundations and mineral powder foundations tend to make me look old like get into creases and stuff but what I found was um, one of my good friends who um, is with Unique told me that she uses the Mineral Touch Press Powder and she will wet it with a blender sponge. That's what I'm going to do. Look, this is dirty, but sorry. Um, and then that's what I do. So I use a pressed powder and it's taffeta, just like this. And I will wet this side of the blender sponge and then I will use that as my um, foundation. So I've got it wet and I'm just going to like tap it in here and start putting it on my face, which is going to be really hard on Facebook Live because I've got comments in the way of my face. So this is going to give me like full coverage all over. And I do like this blender sponge because it's angled like this, can go under here. It's got this end to go in here. Yeah, my husband said nice robe. It is a nice robe, James. Thank you. He got me this robe for Valentine's Day last year, and I love it. Where did he get it? Jamie, where did you get this? Huckberry? Huck, Huckberry? Is that the name of the website? So, I'm going to try to do this with, like, looking in the mirror behind me and looking at you all. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting. So, I'm just going to make, like, obviously a base. Thank you, Robin. Hey, Leanne. So I'm gonna do that and just like blend it out towards the outside of my face. And obviously I'm gonna look kind of like pale and white because I'm correcting, you know, all the discolorations and stuff on my skin. Blend down here. You don't want to have that line, you know, with your makeup because that'll look weird. Oops. Okay. It actually looks a lot lighter and whiter on the Facebook Live than it does in person, but hopefully I've blended it all good here. I've tried these brushes before, but I just don't like them. Remember I used that um, blend, that bubble blender, that silicone bubble blender, and that was like a joke. Maybe I don't use it right. <laughs> who knows, but hey Elizabeth, hey Hannah, who knows if I use that right? So I think 
I think that's pretty good for a base. So again, that is a, um, a pressed powder that I actually just make wet um, and I do that. So I've got pretty much my base. Um, I'm gonna go in and contour a little bit. Um, you can use, I really use like any kind of contouring brush. Um, this one is um, Real Techniques uh, contour brush. I kind of like that. It's really dirty. My brushes are dirty. Or you can use like an angled brush like that. That always works well. I'm gonna use the angled brush today. And Hopefully you guys are still there. I just had a phone call. I don't know if that paused it or not. My favorite, favorite, um, like bronzer type contouring stuff is by Sweet Minerals. I don't know if you guys know about Sweet Minerals or not, but this is Island Tan Bronzer by Sweet Minerals, and I love it. Um, it just works really well for me. So I'm just gonna swirl a little bit and tap off the excess and, and do the typical kissy face so I can make some cheekbones and go from there. I'll teach you another trick too. If you're not sure, um, I don't know if I have my card in here. If you're not sure how to get like that line right here where your cheekbones are, you can grab like, um, I'll use like a business card. And you can like, basically you put the card here and do this and it'll make like a line. So you can always do that. I'm going to put some bronzer on. And contour and obviously it's gonna be super dark for now but we blend it we blend we blend it in I go in here not a lot of people do but it's just the shape of my face I think you know your contours and what works for your face I'm gonna do my nose some more definition to my nose because it's got a rather bulbous tip so I like to define it a little bit another tip is to do your contour under your lip your bottom lip that'll cast a shadow oops, cast a shadow here so your bottom lip will kind of look a little more pouty so you can do that contour under your jawbone crazy because I'm here it's like super I have to look above the comments okay here we go I couldn't see above the comments and blend that all down contouring is your friend it makes you look skinny and defined and makeup is all an illusion right you're enhancing your features all right so obviously that looks a little bit like harsh so I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of blend that in so it's not so harsh just make sure I'm not missing comments <laughs> Andrea no I definitely need you to still teach me some things Rock, yes, you will learn how to contour your face. Jan won't recognize you. Do you see what us women do? It's crazy, huh? Okay, so I've got that blended in. I am going to, sometimes I will put like some concealer under here. Um, I'm probably not gonna do that today, but a great concealer that I like to use is, um, I think it's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. That's a good one. If I can find it. I can never find my stuff because I don't have anything organized. Yeah, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. That's really good um, for brightening under here. And you can always highlight. I have a highlight palette too, but I just don't seem to really need it as much right now. Since I'm so white as it is. And my lips are so dry. Okay, I'm going to do a little blush. All right. Um, 
Um, if anyone's like into beauty or beauty blogging or anything, you probably know about NARS Orgasm um, Blush. Yes, that's the name of it. There's NARS Orgasm and NARS Super Orgasm. It was like a huge deal um, a few years ago and like you can hardly ever, like I think you can get it now, but it's still expensive. So I had found a dupe for it like from forever ago and it's by Model Co, Model Co Cosmetics and it's um, Blush Cheek Powder in Peach Bellini and I think it looks just like the, um, the NARS Orgasm, which really I like a lot on my face. I know it's like how many years later, but I still really like it. Um, the Under Eye Stuff Cheryl is by It Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye and I get it in neutral to medium. Let's blush ourselves. You know, like where the sun hits ya. You know, if I'm out in the sun and I'm gonna get sun on me and a little bit of redness, that's usually where I hit my face with my blush. Some people start by here and kind of contour more with it, but for me, I like, you know, in through here. A lot of people won't do their blush through there, but for me, that's just, I like where it hits there. Thanks, Shauna. So, yeah. And I think blushing just kind of makes you look healthier and, you know, a little life in your cheeks. My lips are so dry and I got foundation on them. Okay. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some eyeshadow for you. Let me get my eyeshadows all right here. I should have done this like ahead of time. It's an organized stuff, but I'm not organized like at all. It's terrible. Um, let's see. I love Urban Decay's um, Easy Baked. Um, I think Half Baked was my favorite, but I couldn't get Half Baked. And so I went with Easy Baked. And that's like my base color. So I really like that. And then I'm going to kind of define my eyes with um, Urban Decay's I think it's Snake Bite. Why can I never find anything when I need it? All right. Yes. So the other color that I'll use to kind of define my eyes is Urban Decay's Snake Bite, and that's like a dark brown. So that's what that looks like. Now I just need my other eyeshadow brush because I use the two different eyeshadow brush brushes, um, one for the base color and then one for the um, crease that I use. So I'm gonna do a base color, which is a light color on my lid, and I'll bring it up just so everything's kind of the same color. And obviously this probably would take, would be quicker if I wasn't talking the whole time through it. So who knows how long this will take, but okay. So there's my base color and I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Snake Bite. And you can always ask me later what I used. I'll let you know. And I'm just using a double-sided brush. I'm going to do my crease with this, and the other side kind of like blends it. I'm going to go in where my crease is. And go to the corner, outside corner. Robin, where did I learn to do makeup? Um, I guess it started with my mom, and then it just went from me playing and messing around and finding out what works from there. And also, um, YouTube has been great for makeup. Um, I love watching YouTube, so um, I've learned some tricks from there. Most of it's just playing around, though. I mean, we all have different eye shapes and different faces, and you know, you find what works best for you. And this is going to look super dark, too, until my... Um, mascara and everything's done. So yeah, hey Ashley. Um, I can't do a smoky eye. I don't know. Maybe Andrea. Maybe Andrea Bounds this weekend can teach me how to do a smoky eye because every time I do a smoky eye, I just look like I got punched in the face. <laughs> so I don't do a smoky eye. Like I don't come down here and stuff with it. I just feel like if I had darker hair, maybe a smoky eye would look great, but I don't know. 
just can't do a smoky eye. And now my screen just got darker. So that made it even harder. So I'm going to be looking over here. So, sorry. Um, yeah, and then I take the other end and kind of just blend that all out. So it's not quite as harsh of a line. Blend, blend, blend. And now there's a train coming, which means my dog is going to bark. Life. I put a movie on for my kids, though, so hopefully they won't interrupt. All right. Um, I'm going to use my favorite, favorite eyeliner on the planet. Um, I don't like liquid eyeliners because my eyes, especially my right eye, tends to water a little bit. And whenever I use a liquid eyeliner, I just wipe it right off. Like it has to be like a super powerful must stay eyeliner. And so I like gel eyeliners. Um, they're great in like, a, you know, you get like a little pot and you can use a brush. That's great too. Um, this one by Motives is really great. Um, it's their um, little black dress gel eyeliner. That's really good. Um, my favorite is Their Real Push-Up Liner by Benefit. Their Real Push-Up Liner. It's going to be backwards, but by Benefit. So I'm going to attempt to do my winged eyeliner on here <laughs> where you can still see it. So, and I know you're not supposed to grab your eye and pull it. I do. I'm sorry. I do. So this is going to be interesting because usually I get like super close to um, the mirror when I do this. So I start by making just wings like that, straight lines like that, like that, okay? That's how I start. Um, Shauna, I have that unique eyeliner. <laughs> I just don't like pencils. They don't get a, a fine enough tip for me, but I do have that, I do have that eyeliner. Um, all right, so now I've got these lines, right? Line, line. So I'm gonna go back to the tip of this line and draw it down, which is gonna be, let me see here if you can see it. I wanna make sure you can see. So like that, you see how I drew it down? And then I, oops. And then I got to color in the rest. Hey, Dusty. Which is, this is, wing eyeliner is very hard to do on Facebook Live, <laughs> if I'm honest. Hey, Corey. So, hopefully you can see this. Let me get up here so you can see it. And then I just kind of color it all in over here in this outside corner. Make sure you can see it's really hard. See? And I like a big winged eyeliner. Look at the difference, okay? Look at this eye, <laughs> then look at that eye. Now, this might look a little more closed with mascara. It's going to open that eye back up, but you can see how different you know, your eyes look when you do stuff like this. Isn't that crazy? That's why makeup is so fun. I love makeup. So come over to this side again, come up to that tip and come down. See, I did that. I'm going to color in that whole section right there. And this, this eyeliner does not come off. I mean, it's like crazy. I have to use my special, um, they even make a special like remover for it because it's that awesome. Dusty, this is Benefits Their Real Push-Up Liner. It's a gel liner. It's really dirty up at the top, but here you can see you turn the end and it pushes the gel up and then you use it like a pen or a pencil, but it gives such a defined line that I cannot get with a pencil. 
and I'm not as good with a brush um, at getting that defined line. I, I can, but it's got to be a really good um, like eyeliner brush. So I really like it. I probably brought that in a little farther than I normally would, but mascara will fix that. That's what's great. Okay. Can you, the inner eyelids, I don't usually line my waterline. Um, I never um, line my bottom waterline, like hardly ever, unless I was trying to do something really smoky. Um, but you can actually pick this up if you want to like tight line it, you can pick it up and kind of um, get in there and make it darker if you wanted to. So you can do that. Yes. Um, I don't do my bottom waterline though. Okay, I'm going to do some mascara. My favorite mascara, okay, I don't have, I like length for my lashes. I have very short lashes. Um, thankfully, I, I've been using the Lash Boost by Rodan and Fields for the past eight weeks. And my lashes have definitely grown, so I'm happy about that. But of course, I want them like super, super long. Um, so I will use, um, Unique's ma mascaras, the fiber lashes are great too. I, my favorite is Cover Girls, the Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. It's just this green tube right here. So it's Cover Girl, the Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. The reason why I like it is I like a, um, mascara brush that's like this. I don't like the real fluffy, um, volumizing brushes. I like, I don't know if you can see it, ones that are like, I don't know, harder. So, I'm going to do my uh, mascara here. After I just poke myself in the eye, I would do that on Facebook Live. Also, my outside lashes curl all the way around. Like, all the way around. It's ridiculous. So, it's really hard. To get them to go like straight out. Dusty, I did a braid tutorial yesterday. So if you um, scroll down a little bit on my news feed and my wall, you'll be able to see it. Thanks, Gail. This mirror is from um, Amazon. Ha! <laughs> Amazon. Tarts, lights, camera, lashes. Um, I don't think I've used lights, camera, lashes. I've heard about it. I've used so many stinking mascaras. It's ridiculous. But it has to be a certain kind of brush. If it's not this brush, I it doesn't work right with my lashes. It doesn't get it in there and separate like I want it to. So yeah. And again, look at the difference with mascara and no mascara. Makes a big difference. Huh. So if I'm going to run out of the house and I have like no time to do anything, I'm going to at least put mascara on. You can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to put some mascara on <laughs> because I've got a big clump there. I will look much more awake with mascara. <sighs> what event will I be next? Dusty, I don't know. What blogger event I'll go to. I need to go to one though. I wish you weren't so far away. Dusty, you can come to Las Vegas for Plexus for a convention and see me there. In, uh, in May. My phone just told me my storage is already full. What is it even using? Like... I'm not keeping this. This is off of Facebook Live, people. So, yeah. Alright, so. Mascara. And I ha you should come to Vegas, Dusty. Like, totally come to Vegas. Like, it's going to blow your mind. It's awesome. Come to Vegas for the Plexus Convention. We'll, we'll hang out in Vegas. Um, Jamie's coming. You can bring your hubby. Um... Okay, now I'm going to work on these stinking brows. All right. 
Little um, disclaimer for my brows. As you can see, my brows do not come in far enough. Not quite. That happens from over plucking <laughs> when I was a teenager to the point where they just don't grow. They don't grow. Um, they don't grow in here. They don't grow under here. Like I don't even pluck my eyebrows. They don't grow. So I am going to get them microbladed on, I think in May. So, but I'll show you a good brow thing I found that I really like. This is Stila um, Stay All Day Waterproof brow color and it's like a marker so you know here's the point it's almost like an eyeliner type marker and I'm just going to draw on these puppies I like it though because you can um, like do the swipes of your hair that you know what I mean with the little wisps you can make it like wispy looking does that make sense y'all picking up what I'm putting down here yeah so, brows are everything too though. Brows completely frame your face. So, brows are super important. I wish I had those fantastic brows like everybody on the internet does, but I don't. So, I don't. All right, now I gotta do this other one, which is gonna be interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Okay. Dusty, you can see the forehead wrinkle that I use my derma roller for that I need to get rid of. Yeah. So this is, oh, this is the Stila, like I said, Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. And this stuff really stays. I mean, you can really like wipe your hands over it. This is medium. Um, there's also a dark. There is a light too. I know I'm blonde, but my eyebrows are kind of dark. You know, my natural color is like, you know, right here. So the medium seems to work really well. Yeah. Brows, right? Um, yes, mom, I used to have big old bushy Italian eyebrows that my father gave me. <laughs> but I tweezed the mess out of them and now they don't grow. And he would always say, stop plucking your eyebrows. Stop getting them waxed. Brooke Shields had beautiful thick eyebrows. <laughs> and he was right. Girls, listen to your daddy. He was right. He was right. You remember when like pencil thin eyebrows were in? I mean like pencil thin, like you barely see your eyebrows. Yeah. I went a little overboard during that time. So I definitely had pencil thin eyebrows. Yeah. But again, I don't really bring them in any further because it just looks weird. It, I can't, it doesn't look right. It looks fake if I do that. So that's about as good as it goes. I don't be flashing anybody with my rope. Okay. Um, so now, did I seriously not bring my lip stuff in here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm going to do my lips real quick. What eyebrow pencil am I using? This eyebrow pencil, again, Tammy, is Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color in Medium. Looks like this. I got it on Amazon. Shocker. I know. Yeah, so I'm going to use... I'm going to do this my pencil. Let's see. This is MAC Dervish for my lip pencil. It's like a nice pink color. Yes, Mom, my nostrils should measure up to my eyebrows, which, I mean, they kind of do because my nose is wide anyway. So if you run up there, I mean, they probably need to come in a little bit. So you know how you do this, where they should end, that kind of thing. My arch is further over than the middle of my eye. I don't know. That's just the way they are. So, yeah, so my lips are so dry. Okay. I am going to, um, that home dry skin. Gross. Huh. You don't want to see that. <laughs> All right. But, you know, such is life. All right. This is, um, Mac Dervish and I like it. It's a nice pink color. Also, one thing about me is my lips are crooked. Um, my Cupid's bow does not fall 
correctly in the middle. If you can look, see real close, this side's up higher than that, than that side. So I have to like bring up the right side a little more so it matches the left. Like that. So I got crooked lips too, mom. Who's that from? Does dad have crooked lips? And I probably would have plumped my lips too um, with my Candy Lips Lip Plumper, which would have given my bottom lip. Um, if you saw my tutorial yesterday, I had used the Candy Lips Lip Plumper and my bottom lip was kind of nice and plump because I do have, you know, on the smaller side lips. So you work with what you got, all right? But the beauty, beauty about makeup is you can totally transform yourself. So, all right, um, I'm going to put some gloss over top of it because I don't really like a totally um, matte or dry lip. So this is Too Faced Sweet Sunshine Lip Gloss in Mocha Freeze, which cracks me up because if anybody remembers Mocha Freeze from Mary Kay, it was like, like uh, I don't even know, goldy, shimmery craziness that I used to use when I was a little girl. Um, but this is Too Faced Sweet Sunshine's lip gloss in Mocha Freeze. You know when you watch people on Instagram or YouTube, they put like lipstick on and they just do it like, it just looks so beautiful when they do it. Because they got like these nice beautiful lips. Not me. Not me. Alright, so. So I'm pretty much done. I mean, that's pretty much what I would do. Oh, I might go in with my um, base color for my eyeshadow, which is already kind of still on my brush, and just go underneath here to give it a little shimmer. See that? Oh, a little highlight. Because that's just pretty, huh? When you have a little highlight on your brow bone. Yeah, and sometimes I'll go in here and kind of highlight in here, make you look a little more awake. Some more blush so I look you know lively flushed um, I know Natalie you can't play it in the Lexus it's not gonna let you hear me you're gonna have to unplug it if it's plugged in or turn your turn your um you're gonna have to turn your Bluetooth off Bluetooth off Lexus problem I know okay then I'm gonna finish with a um, makeup setting spray. And this is super duper important for me because I just did all of this and it's a lot of work, right? I mean, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so I want this to stay. Um, I did my eyebrows already, Natalie. You're gonna have to rewind for that, but I did do my eyebrows. Um, yeah, um, but I was given to try the Motives 10 Years Younger spray. And I've used a lot of them. I've used Urban Decay spray. I've used, um, oh my gosh, what else have I used? I've used like three or four of them. I don't remember all the names. But I used a bunch of setting sprays, but they never seem to work right. But this stuff, like, this is going to take, if my if my um, foundation was looking a little bit, like, too thick through here or was cracking through here, this kind of, like, just sets it all and, like, beautifies it. It's pretty amazing. This stuff's the bomb. So this is the Motives 10 Years Younger um, weightless mist setting spray and you probably don't need to spray this much but I'm like girl this makeup's got to stay so I spray the mess out of my face so I'll spray and then fan it off but it really helps it helps for my um, it just helps your makeup stay you know you get your makeup how you want it and an hour later you don't want it to like um, Somehow I made my 5,000 step goal with Garmin and I haven't moved. <laughs> um, you want it to stay, but it gives like this um, glow when you spray yourself. It feels fantastic and you've got like this beautiful glow. I just love it. I love it. So, um, yes, that's a good one too, Robin. I know I've got oily skin too. It must run in, must run in our family. Maybe that's because I know it comes from my mom's side, so that must be where we get our oily skin from. 
We'll blame the nuns, huh? Okay, um, nun is my grandmother's maiden name, not like we blame Catholic nuns. Okay, so that's it. Any questions for me? Um, I don't even know how long this has been going on. 35 minutes. It would not normally take me 35 minutes. Um, talking through it and trying to like see myself doing winged eyeliner, eyeliner on here is a lot harder. Uh, it's probably going to take me, without doing, my hair, without doing my hair, it's probably going to take me like 15 minutes or so. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So this will be good. And I have a call tonight that I'm going to get on. So this will last till the call. And it should stay like this, which I love. And my eye is already watering, which it waters. But see, my, my eyeliner won't run or won't come off because I'll be wiping my eye and you lose your wing. And you want to lose your wing, you work hard for that, right? Right. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about the products I use, just um, drop them below and I'll answer, answer them where I got them and what the names are. Not a problem. Thank you, Natalie. Um, and uh, that's what I do. This is like full face. And you know what, I do full face a lot because I just like this better than no makeup. And I like playing with makeup, makeup is fun to me. So if all of this is way too much for you, don't do that. You know, do what's, do what's right for you. But this is my makeup. If you wanted to see um, how I did my hair braid, um, that's a different video I have. So if you're on my Facebook, it should be down below. If you're on YouTube, it'll be on my YouTube. Um, thanks Natalie, I did the braid again today. It's a little more braidy looking today, braidy, than, um, the other day but I hope everyone has a wonderful evening I gotta go make dinner for my kiddos and the hubby and I'll see you all soon